Hello everyone and welcome to the Forex Boat. Again, today is Tuesday, Victor with you and we having another idea. Before we start, I would like to remind you all the information in this video is just for educational purpose only and should not be considered as a financial advice. You probably know that most of the time we give ideas Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, but today I think it's a quite interesting idea, so we will do it a bit earlier and this is the idea on the euro versus Australian dollar. Let's jump back to our previous ideas, just quickly recap as to what has happened. First off is the euro versus GBP and what we have is still this consolidation which was very expected. I think it might go even further but it's already starting to look like the price might be going down. This is actually the reason why euro versus Australian dollar could be going down because it seems so that the trend will be very, very bearish for the euro against many pairs. And this is the reason we have a heavy downtrend expected on the euro and on the euro versus Australian dollar, which we will look into in just a moment. Now, next, New Zealand Canadian dollar. Original idea, the first one was from this point onwards, still expecting the target to be reached. The latest idea that we had just recently was uh, from this area to buy an area up until this target so starting to go back once again looking good now dollar canadian okay we are going in favor of of the idea uh, but we had a, this corrective move to the downside which is still quite healthy although stop loss could be placed at the break even or at the very least just below this lowest point but some profit taking also always a good idea Moving on to Canadian Japanese, this is the one of the ideas we had just recently. There is no not much of a move here and you can see it actually could be going for quite a while because this is a daily chart we can expect a few weeks at least, but I will be updating you on this one. Now, the euro versus Australian dollar. What we have guys is uh, this uptrend, a long term uptrend for the euro Australian dollar. And what we expect is that the price will be moving down towards 62 area, which is psychological level and also corresponds with this uptrend trend line. Maybe it will even go to test one of the moving average lower, but we need to see first reaction at this price. Now, why this level is also important? Let's move to the forward chart. Right. So first of all, this is the average downtrend trend line. It just shows you the average price where we had bounces multiple times, most of the time. And the most recent bounce was actually right there, ha happened on the 7th and price has managed to produce yet another lower low. Also, what is important is the, that support becoming the resistance quite consistently. Here was the support. Now it is a resistance along with the rejection of the trend line. Now we had here was the support and now it acted as a resistance. So what I did is I applied Fibonacci retracement to this correction to the upside. You may ask me why it's not going towards this high. This is because on the daily chart we had this break below the moving average 200 period. And then price produced the high, although today it was only a spike. So the original high is considered to be right there, unless we have a daily close above. So while the daily close remains below, this is a valid Fibonacci that can be used. Moving back to the forward chart. So this is what is expected from this pair. We have 261.8% FIBs on this corrective, applied to this corrective wave. And this is 62 area. This is very important because it is a psychological support. Now we have applied another FIPS to the previous correction to the upside and we have 161.8 FIPS at 61.35, which means that this area could be the potential area of the next major support. Finally, I would like to move to the one hour chart we have here a very clean bounce of 200 moving average very clean price managed to move lower break below the downtrend trend line come back rejected the downtrend uptrend trend line and started to produce yet another lower low so overall this this entry point like 
after the price rejected the trend line and went back, it seems to be extremely good as a selling opportunity. So price might get back to this level at 66.70 and it would be a very good entry for the long term because what is expected if the price will correct towards this level is actually a almost 500 pips downside move. Nevertheless, it can still go straight down without any sort of retracement back. But as usual, the, the best is to wait for some sort of correction. Even if the pair will go further down, wait until it corrects and then enter. But ideal point would be approximately 66.75, maybe even 67. So 67 is a psychological level and it's a breakout of the downtrend trend line. So this could be also a very interesting entry point, which makes area between 67.10 approximately and 66.75. This could be a good area for this entry short if it corrects. So overall, it's a strong downtrend along with the euro GBP. And now it seems that the euro is starting actually to lose big time to many major uh, currencies. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a pretty early video, but I had to share this with you because I just spotted this kind of opportunity. So thank you guys. Smash the like if you liked it and subscribe to our channel to see more ideas this week also actually. So take care. Profits to everyone.